All right, all right, we're going to talk about group two metals, the alkaline earth metals. And just like alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals are very similar, but have a smaller trend difference when you compare it to alkaline metals. They're similar, okay? Now, metallic alkaline earth metals, group two metals, when they form a metal metallic bond, they are harder pieces of metal compared to the group 1 alkali metals because of the amount of available valence electrons for delocalized de metallic bonding. When they form cations, they form a 2 plus charged cations. All right? Now, the entire group 2 will also have it's very similar chemical properties, and this is where the buck ends. When alkaline earth metals react with non-metals, it forms salts. Boom! Nothing new over there. And these salts are crystalline white solids. Trends. Proper trends of uh, alkaline earth metals is very similar to alkaline metals. So, density goes up when you go down the group. Reactivity also increases as you go down the group due to the same reasons that um, the valence electrons is further away from the nucleus as you go down the group. So, and also the added shielding effect means more reactivity. And as because of that shielding and distance of the valence electrons to the nucleus, you get much lower boiling melting points when you go down the group. Flame test. Now, again, like all other metal elements, when you uh, are ions, when you heat it, the energy introduced to the metal ions causes the electrons to jump up, and when it comes back down and relaxes, it emits light. Yes. For magnesium ion, it's no real color, but you get an extremely bright light flame. Calcium, you get a brick red, so it looks like a piece of brick red, so it's kind of like a dark red. Strontium, you get a scarlet color, and barium, a green apple color. Yummy, yummy. Nice, wonderful colors for fireworks display. Next, we'll talk about common reactions involving alkaline earth metals.